it for real, there's no reason to pretend If I do it once, I do it again Add it up, add it up, yeah. bank go, bank go, 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 What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Devin and I go on a crazy multi-day fishing trip down in Austin, Texas in today's episode. I think you guys are gonna love it. We hit ponds, we hit lakes, we take out the hot tamale towed by a GMC, courtesy of GMC for the next couple weeks just to create content for you guys. Let us know what else you would like us to do with this truck. We've got the turbo diesel man. It's got torque for days. Hauls the boat like it's a kayak. You'd think we were in the sports car when you're taking off from lights in this thing. Anyways, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. When you think it's the end of the episode, it probably isn't because we just continue this thing on and we finish up right here at a new lake in Georgetown and we catch some species that look like largemouth, smallmouth. We don't really know what they are. Some sort of a hybrid mixture maybe you guys can tell me. So be sure to stick around till the very end. We get out with Jay Gone Fishing, Jared Swagford. Check them down in the description. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's get down to Austin. In 6.2 miles, keep left onto I-35 E South toward Waco. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you. Yeah, yeah, my wife is nothing like me. No, God. absolutely. My wife's yeah. me too. <laughs> We're listening to the Marcus Luttrell Joe Rogan podcast on our way down to Austin, Texas. Y'all, welcome back to the vlog. It is me, wife Devin, pup Zeke in the back, and we are in the GMC Denali that we just got lent. Uh, you guys blew that video up. Thank you so much. If you didn't see us taking delivery of this thing, check that video out. It is the last one posted, most likely. Doing something a little bit different. It's going to encompass the travel, probably find a nice little hike. We're gonna have some brews at Jester King this evening. Try and wear the pup out because the next couple days we're gonna do some fishing. I don't know if there's gonna be fishing in today's video or not, but we are towing the hot tamale right behind us. This diesel is just making it like like a paperweight. It literally has like 900 foot pounds of torque. The truck is nuts. The seat literally just vibrated. I mean, it has all these features. So like if someone starts slowing down in front of you, the seat vibrates, just making sure you're alert, which is fantastic. Kudos to GMC. Anyways, we just want to take you guys along for the ride. We are pumped and probably still an hour out of Austin. So we'll catch you guys there and see what we have lined up for today in just a minute. Made it to the domain. Can we find parking though? Yeah, those parking spots aren't gonna work. Oh, snap, they got glorious. Since you left me so come on Welcome to Austin, Texas. Let me tell you what, the domain was a sick area, but it was way too busy. We could not find parking for the life of us, so we made the trek across the highway over to Chipotle, one of our favorites. It is a little windy to take the boat out today, so we're probably gonna eat this chow down, get some carbs, and then head on to the hike. Starting route to River Place Nature Trail. Zeke, how's Zeke, Zeke, the cheers, Bobbin. <laughs> oh, God Woo! dang. Did you Whoa. see that slip? Hauling. He, he slipped around, a little bit. Barreling That's around the little... corner. Audi all wheel drive. Luckily, he had that. I'll tell I'm you what. I'm kidding. His back end slipped out a that little bit. That was crazy. <laughs> Trash control off. But yeah, we're like just uh, roaming up and down these hills, dude. Things are steep out here. Just like Six Flags. So we're at River Place Nature Trail, y'all. We are going to get to hiking. It got me stone cold. <laughs> you got me stone cold. Well, y'all, we made it all the way to the end of Little Fern. Actually, we kind of went off the grid. <laughs> we ended up in like somebody's backyard. I'm filming on the iPhone. Audio is great right now with the wind. Zeke's feeling good. We're about to head over to Jester King. We have a giveaway coming up over on Instagram, y'all. Go ahead and give us a follow. We're closing in on 100,000 followers and we're going to be giving away, we're partnering with Bubba Blade on this one. I think we've got almost $500 in products. There's no purchase required, so go ahead and check out the Instagram link below. We are back at the Denali. Time to load up and grab some beer. Ooh, sore in here. <laughs> we are here, man. Jester King. We're sitting in the beer garden. 
you have to make a reservation here to uh, even get a spot and there's different areas you can make reservations for we didn't even know that coming here so we we're like a walk-in and they said it was completely packed and we weren't gonna be able to get a spot luckily Devin kind of finagled her way into like a 545 deal so we made it happen we got two beers here in front of us I forget what she got she's gonna tell you in a second but I got this 10 year anniversary dry hop farmhouse ale with oats and triticale or triticale I don't know anyways six and a half bucks and we got their classico pizza the thing is legit and uh, yeah we're about to enjoy this and then head out and maybe do some fishing for you guys before the Sun sets Devin got this one right here the blackberry grisette 12 ounce draft it's like 5.8 percent I think it's gonna be pretty legit it's kind of like a cider blackberry cider I'm not complaining what is it? <laughs> Time for goat yoga, everybody. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We have found the goats, y'all. They're out in full swing. Zeke is going crazy out here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zeke got to meet some goats, and we made it out a few bottles and cans later. <laughs> and it looks like we can get out of the parking spot. I don't know. I think we're not blocked in, so it's all it's all good. Good boy. First time ever filling up a diesel vehicle. It's kind of weird, huh? 285 for diesel, gas is 247. It's been costing like 75 bucks to fill up the Tundra, so I imagine this is like 100 to 120 to fill up. It's not completely on E, actually. It's got like a quarter tank, but I bet you it's still more than the Tundra just to put like three quarters in this thing. We're gonna wait to find out. Ha! You see that? It feels so weird pressing the diesel button. You feel like you're doing something wrong. Three gallons in, here goes nothing. $45 and counting. No way. Oh, 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 oh. Sick. Sick. GMC's finna love me. Look at that. Was not on me. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Just drenched. Thanks, QT. Nice auto stop you got there. Can't be letting this black metallic paint go to waste, though. Probably just paid for three extra dollars worth of diesel right there. All right, y'all, it is time for hotel check-in. All right, y'all, $72 total. Had a little less than a quarter tank left, and it's looking like the def fluid is just below half. We should be good. Hey, Gotta get the technique dialed. What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're fishing Lake Austin. It's gonna be a blast. Join us with the crew here in just a second. We're in search of a Texas giant. He's chasing ducks. First y'all, we're gonna grab some coffee though. We found uh, some makeshift boat parking at Mozart's. We're also joined by Devin, Jay going fishing, and Jared Swafford. Gonna be a good old time on Lake Austin. But, uh, let's see, I guess this will do. Oh. <laughs> Sick. We're in. Is this legal? Just infiltrating the neighbor's patio, lakeside? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what up to Jay Gone Fishing? Yo, yo. What up to Jared's What up? You guys check them out down in the description. We have made a stop here one time. I don't think it was during a fishing trip, but the place is like one of the most beautiful spots to grab you a little cup of java in the morning. Devin got the draft latte. I got a little hot latte, a couple empanadas. Boats are sitting ringside, and we're about to hit the water after this. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. All right, You're I'm like, I'm going it. out I'm in here. it with you now. We're going. I'm at least trying to get 365. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to reach out to Craig? I think Jay yeah. said he, he said he's got to work, work, and I said, let me know if you can Tell him to freaking come all the way. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him. You're work sick. Work doesn't matter right Say now. Say he might have COVID. You'll get a whole seven, 14 days off. <laughs> I thought I messed up. I thought I had a bite, and I was in a stump. And then it like pulled back, and I was like, no. <laughs> it was Dude, tiny little things. The little hooks. Stuck up so tight to the bait, and it what? gets like such a better glide. A little balance with some lead tape. Ooh. But they're almost invisible whenever it's cruising through the water. Yeah, might be throwing some big baits today. Well, for sure, Jared's gonna be throwing some big baits. That's that's a given. That's always. Check out. Uh, Look at this swim bait rod setups on Jay's boat. <laughs> <laughs> this little dude will get munched. Now that is like a shad imitation if I ever seen one. So the back's pretty locked out, so it, it just kind of gets movement. So the front will give a little motion, the back just gets just a bit. Let me get a little. Look at this, you guys. The bass pattern ghost. But Jay is rocking the little body pads in there, so it gets, uh, I guess you could say, less joint movement. Mm -hmm. You kind of shaved them down a little bit. This thing's off the wall custom. 
off the wall. <laughs> That's no joke. We're launching. <clears throat> Jay's gonna Uber us over to our boat. We're getting spoiled with the 250. <laughs> Thank you, sir. On the water, Lake Austin, ladies and gents. I'm gonna plug this uh, power bank into the GoPro. First I put it in my pocket and then I just kind of have all day charge. I'm rigging up a muscle rod right now with a Corrado DC springtime rigs. You guys have seen it a lot in videos lately. The Saucy Swimmer with an underspin and Devin and I are probably both gonna throw these. We have a lot of confidence in it. Uh, probably bounce between this, some big swim baits and a Texas rig back and forth today, but we might switch it up even more. Wow, this is so much clearer than I thought. I've been sitting down this whole time. What the heck? I think Devin fixed our live scope. It's been totally out of commission in the forward view for like the last two, three weeks. Restore sonar defaults, got it, okay. Don't tell Jay and Jared, but I brought them some uh, snips. These are like literally my favorite. If y'all wanna grab these on Carl's Bait and Tackle, they're retractable and they're so sharp, dude. They cut through braid, like we always have them on hand. I've got one on my bag for like when we hit the banks. I got two on the boat, one here. We got one up front. Like you guys can get these at Carl's Bait and Tackle. I think they're 10, 12 bucks. Like you will not think twice about having spent a little bit of money to cut your line whenever you're talking about re-rigging stuff on the go. The best money spent in fishing, seriously. This little inlet is looking Dang, beautiful. Oh, yo. I think that's a fish hugging to the cover. Yeah. It's a fish hanging out right on it. No way. Perspective mode is off the chain, y'all. There's also a Ned rig. What just happened? The weight got pinned under it. And then as I'm trying to work it out, I messed Devin's cast up and now we're all kinds of screwed. This is this is how fishing really goes. Like when, if you want to know how like these vlogs, you just see the catches. No, no, no. There's like a whole lot of madness. Yeah, <laughs> it's not just all smiles and rainbows out here in Austin, Texas. <laughs> Jay going fishing on with the first one of the day. Oh, shit. we got to crank in a tree, crank in a tree. See, the problem is you got to cast where the fish are and the fish are hanging out here. Watch yourself. Oh, wow. That couldn't have happened while we were out there. Had to wait till we get right up on the bank. Okay. Turtle's on it. Turtle's on it. <laughs> if you're throwing a creature, DRT <sighs> thinks. DRT thinks? Yeah. Those are oh, kind of, dude. Those I'll, put it, I'll put it on. Yeah. It's probably expensive. Oh, God. No, no. I mean, a pack of them is only like 20 bucks. A pack is 20 bucks. <laughs> Jared just gave me a soft plastic. Yeah, for those of y'all that complain about a $5 plastic bag, this is 20 bucks right here for like a pack of probably eight to 10. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. I'm putting it on right now. You know I feel good about the Bandito bug, but watch this. We going straight thinking here. It's got like a different slime to it. The color on the top side reminds me of the underside of Blue Baby on the Guggenbaits. Dude, this should get smoked. Like how lively does that look? It's called Pro Blue. No way. What the heck? You guys have seen us with some DRT products, by the way, like our, these are the DRT varial handles with the working class zero uh, flat knobs. Pretty sick for throwing those bigger baits. They're just a little bit larger, more cranking power, as well as a better grip with your thumbs on these suckers. They're hard to acquire, but I, we think they're worth the money just for like kind of the enjoyment factor when you're out here fishing. That's the cut we went into last time, right? Okay, yep. So, so we're out of the no wake zone. Okay, on y'all ready? Zero to 60? Okay, on three. Psych. He was on for a split second. See him. Pass. Cool little back 40 spot. You throwing any lunker logs? Uh, well, I've been throwing the bandito bug today. Is that the is that the trick though? But are you familiar with lunker? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, I just heard good things for Yeah, no, they they do work. Well, good luck, guys. Hey, thank you. Maybe we'll get lucky. Got him. Oh, in the back of the creek, boys. Yes, bandito boat, first fish of the day, Lake Austin. Oh my gosh, and he's mad. He is not happy. Oh no, he flopped the bandito boat. First one of the day, fresh little green back. 
lost the bandito bug but we have our woo quarter ounce and we also have the hammer hook oh and he just came unhooked like that oh my gosh all that thrashing and it only took a little extra to get undone that's why you got to keep your line tight man look at that he had a decent sized gash so if you let any slack there and they shake they'll shake the hook that is what you don't want to happen and he's a little light color these uh, Lake Austin bass look a little bit different. First young stud of the trip. Check him out. <laughs> Bandito bug and natural colors. What got it done? We're going to go ahead and get the release. This place is crystal clear. I mean, like, look at this. Absolutely clear. Let's let little guy go. Okay, so he's just chilling. I have a feeling there's no way we're gonna be able to work it past this bridge up here, but we might see if we can catch another fish before it gets too shallow to take the boat any further. We've hit the end of the road, you guys. The rock just comes right up to the surface right here. This is where you make a U-turn. Speaking of, we're getting a little close to these uh, rocks out here. There's one bass back here in the creek. On to get some barbecue. All right, I'll pull up to the barbecue spot. So we're about to have lunch, man. Nice little breeze back here, spot locked. Let's go ahead. What the heck did we get ourselves into? Well, like, yeah, two plates. Yeah, there was some stuff on that tree. Got him. Nice, nice. Heck yes, first one for you of the day. That's a good one too. That's a All right, guys, first fish in the boat for me on this Austin trip. Uh, we passed this on our way back into the creek and we could see fish on it. So I went ahead and just cast it right next to it as close as I could get. Felt that bump bump. Pulled this little guy out, skinny. What is going on? This has definitely been one of my go-to baits. It just gets the job done. Saucy swimmer on an underspin, goby color. Let's go ahead and try and size up. All right, well, we met back up with the guys, fished a little mouth of another creek, and we are headed to the ramp. I think we may go and hit up another lake with Jared. It's been fun fishing Lake Austin. We got on a couple. Jay got on like six fish by the end of it, man. He was crushing it. Jared, Jared got, lost Jared one. lost a big one. So neither of us got skunked on the Austin trip. We're heading to another lake right now. <laughs> Let's try and get that big one we've been looking for. Can you leave me some? Oh, she, oh is that what was said? Yeah. Oh, classic. That poor lady, like, she was having trouble. You didn't see that, did you? You were coming to get your truck. She was backing up, backing up, backing up. She almost jackknifed it. Friend didn't know what to do. So then he comes running down. Get it out of there. Can you, can you save us some space? And, like, there's like a boat over <laughs> here. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. Guide, oh, guide. Where, where, should, we, where should we go? All right. Let's shall we see. go this way or that way? We're going to end this way. We're going to end this way. Let's go that way. That way? Let's do yeah. it. Yeah, let's do it. Hit the old Reevee. Switching over from the sauce to the jerk bait here. Or four to six, so it says we're in about seven right here on this back screen, so. Oh yeah. Yep. Nice. Jared's on. Oh snap. You know it's boat flips with Jared's on the boat. Oh, that's pretty good, dude. That's How's it going? going? Oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Austin, Texas home. <laughs> Yo, he choked the bait, dude. Sick. That is gone, boy. 15 minutes in a fishing. Yeah. Slow rolling the hud gill or is it The hud gill, yeah. Good old Decker Lake bass for you. They like soft baits here. He hit this so hard too. I thought that fish was going to be like a five at least. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have you recently had any videos that really popped? Videos? Taking delivery of $80,000 dream truck did pretty good. No? The last one that popped and it's in like my top 10 earning videos, which is not saying a lot, but it's the one where I wrapped Lunker's TV's boat. Oh, nice, yeah. That one did like maybe 30,000 views. Yeah. Oh, oh, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Little guy. Yeah. Little guy, but he's in the boat, baby. <laughs> Couple pounds. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, golly, and he's thrashing, boys. Woo! Jared said oh, they like the soft bait, so we broke out the sauce. Just a little flashy underspin. Go be color. Ugh, there we go. Solid fish out on deck with the homie. My guy. Let's get him. Probably like 15 minutes of fishing. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably been five minutes since the last fish in the boat, y'all. Check him out. Second one on the second lake. 
Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. We ain't got time for all this. Sun is setting, man. We got to get some more. Whoa! And see, he said that's right. right. <laughs> Nicely done. Hey, thank you. That was on the saucy? Mm hmm. Underspin or straight mm -hmm. up? Underspin. Nice. That's like where oh, I. Oh, really? Yeah. We're all the way up on the rock. Even. Quick test, y'all. Oh, that thing is bright. Woo! First test on this new light. That is that's, freaking that's a, gnarly. That's like 100% right there. That's you want to talk about hit. bright? I just got hit too while you were doing that. All right, time to fish. We literally shut the park down. The place is closed and we got to get out of here quick. So. Oh, this might be a smallmouth. No, 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 it's not. Guadalupe? Check this out, y'all. We're on our way back from the Austin trip, and we decided to stop in Georgetown Lake. I keep forgetting the name. It's real clear, nothing but rock. And I'm like, what can we do to cover this thing fast? It's Devin and I's seven year anniversary, so we're literally trying to get home and uh, have a nice dinner up in Dallas. The pliers are also put up. We'll get to that in just one second. And so we tied on a couple deep divers. I believe I got this guy from a Carl's Bait and Tackle order. She's got one as well. We're just casting 45s up against the rock. I said this is going to be probably the one way we can find some fish today before we get back home. It's windy, it's cloudy, they might be on that moving bite. Bob, bam Third, fourth cast That was like, it? this was like third cast with this bait. I mean, well, we, we, we casted just since like this point. We literally started at that point. We made it 30 feet. I don't, look at the tail. I don't know what it is. Yeah guys, so we woke up this morning bright and early. We went to go hit Decker for one last time before heading back. We didn't get any bites this morning. It was like, we, we know that place pretty well and we've got it dialed a couple spots that we have confidence in. Zero bites. Sounded like it was a slow day on Travis by a buddy of ours. So we decided, you know what, let's go ahead and head back home on the way up through Georgetown. Bam, that's cool. We uh, definitely want to come back and hit this lake in the future. <sighs> See you bud. All right, crankbaits it is. On this three day trip, we haven't charged the boat at all, you guys. So we're kind of curious if uh, it's running low on battery. The screen kind of blinked when I started it up and also the front screen restarted. So we might just leave the motor running to kind of help recharge it a little bit. Watch your pause, Zeke. you're on the rod. This is so clear that even though it's like, it's, it's like 15 feet right here, they will come up and hit this like five feet higher. They do seem to be down on the bottom in those rocks. I almost wonder if we should like throw a bandito bug or some shit. Like, I'm thinking there's probably less in here and more out there where it's a little breezy. No, yeah, we'll, we'll go through it. Oh, wow. We're, oh, oh, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Here, you want him? You want him? No, I want him. All right. Fish number two at like whatever this is. Georgetown pulling through. What is this thing? Yo, I totally missed that. Zeke, watch the trebles. Yep, yep, that, that left eye is really red. The other one's not as red. Crankbait Zeke? Oh boy, yeah, you are ready. Oh gosh, oh gosh, don't do that. Hey, Zeke, hold on. There we go, y'all. Second one out here on the new lake. How crazy is that? Oh, jeez. See you, bud. Fish number two. Crazy looking largemouth, if that's what they are. Okay, now you're, hey, you're gonna actually break one of those if you keep doing that. They'd have a heyday with glide baits. But I just don't know if the, I don't know what the it's size is like. I mean, <laughs> that's as far as I can cast with this. The thing is, that's a 200 spool size. So like it's heavier, like the spool is heavier with all that line. There's less line to cast out on this one because it's like a 100 or something. Like it's not near as much. We definitely got to get on the road before four. I bet you we should probably. All right, y'all, thanks so much for tuning in to the Austin trip. We threw it all together for you, something a little bit different. We don't do that typically, but we thought it worked really well for these videos here. We hit multiple lakes. We got out with the guys. Devin caught fish. We took out Zeke the boat dog. We had an absolute blast, and we're headed back up to Dallas to celebrate our seven-year anniversary. We can't be more thankful for all you guys. Thank you so much. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Notifications to all. See you on the next one.